how do you feel rap culture and hip hop culture is right now? I feel like it's getting better. I mean, there's still obviously going to be people, be people who are telling their own stories, mm -hmm. but I feel like as a lot of the rappers get older, like uh, the exhibits, for example, or Ludacris, yeah. for example, I don't see like they're obviously not talking about the stuff they used to be. Do you mm -hmm. think it's go getting in a better direction? And do you think that has an effect on kids who are trying, try who are looking up to these people? Because when I was growing up, uh, like Fifty Cent and G Unit were obviously mm -hmm. big, but they would say that like even though that we were gangbangers, mm -hmm. the rap, the music is still entertainment, and you shouldn't take it like you shouldn't want to emulate it do you where do you feel it's, like the culture is now i feel like um music is still entertainment it's always going to be entertainment right but social media is be is people are starting to blend social media with real life now right a lot of um young rappers that are coming up and shit they they're coming up in, a, in an age where everything like you're always on camera we're always on camera like anywhere we go like you know what i'm saying anything we do we got to put it on camera right so you're forced to almost um, either be your music. Like, you know, if you're going to talk that mm -hmm. type of shit, like you have to be your music because everyone's going to see everything anyway, right? And I feel like hip hop right now, it's, um, it's the most popular genre. We know that it's pop and everything like that. But unless you're already rich and shit like that, you're going to talk about what your situation is, you know? And a lot of guys, that's the only thing they know. They're just going to talk about the situation. And that causes a lot of problems because the kids aren't looking up to like the like we were saying the ludicrous and shit like that. They're not looking up to ludicrous. They're looking up to like, sorry to say it, they're looking up to like top five and idiots like that. You know what I'm saying? That are giving them the wrong influences and shit. So, yeah, I really want to be someone to change that narrative. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's a big of a problem in Canada? I mean, where where you're from like obviously these parts in toronto are terrible neighbor there's terrible neighborhoods uh how many of those places do you think there are in canada can you compare it at all yeah there's bad places everywhere in canada where i'm from in nova scotia is is completely different too like it's this everyone thinks nova scotia is rosy but where i'm from is is that is bad <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's different it's bad and shit like that um where i'm from in nova scotia is north preston it's the biggest all-black community in canada right oh, really yeah, honestly, yeah. And um, the way that we got there is through the Underground Railway and shit like that, right? And then um, mm -hmm. it used to be reserve land, native reserve land. And um, they gave it to us when we first landed in Canada and shit. But that area and areas around it in like Dartmouth and Halifax and shit like that, they got gangs, like all the same stuff they have in Toronto. The kids are shooting each other and shit like that. And then when you go to like Montreal or out west, they got the native gangs. It's, it's the same problem everywhere you go. Especially nowadays, it's... um. It's more like these kids are all paying attention to what's going on in the States more and more. So, like, it's going to pretty soon, like, the next 10, 20 years, it's going to be just like in the States over in Canada. Every city. 